Hey guys watching BTN TV. Here is Teacher Fred again. Uh, the do director of studies at the same time mathematics teacher P5 and P6. I'm here again for those who have been following our program of uh, learning. Last time we were here I think those who followed us, they know where we ended. Uh, before I kick off with the lesson, I may also go through this as my department is concerned. As wisdom sender, last year we had uh, our kids or our candidates. We, got, we managed to get 90.5% first grades and 9.5% percent second grade. We never had any other grade. Among those who raised the 90.5 percent, we also managed to raise 33.33 percent with the five aggregates. And all this come in due to excellent relationship between our teachers and our learners. However, that is not the main issue of today. Let's kick off straight away to the lesson. Last time, uh, in a previous lesson, I said we are going to handle unit six, which, says, uh, which deals with the ratios, proportions, percentages, and the mixtures. Last time, we were looking at how we can convert percentages into decimals. Today, it is another lesson, which is also related to what we did, but just a matter of playing with the digits around. Let's look at this. Today's lesson, I want us to look at how to convert decimals into percentages. How can we convert a decimal number into a percentage? For example, if somebody gives you a question or you come across a question, like this one here, they say, change 0 0.38, change... 0 0.38 or 3800 this into into a percentage into a percentage well when we look at our number it says change 0 0.38 into a percentage. Here we have a decimal number, and they want us to change a decimal number into a percentage. Here it is as simple as this. We shall first of all get our decimal number. We write it here, 0 0.38. This is the number that requires us to change into percentage. So I'll get our number or our decimal number. The first step we have to do, we shall change this decimal number into a fraction. Okay? So we shall have this as 38 out of 1. After putting 1, come here where the decimal point is. Count the decimal places. How many decimal places are here? The number of decimal places determines the number of zeros you are to add on this one. That is to say, we have from here up to here, this is one decimal place, this is the second. So we have two decimal places. So we shall say 38 out of 100. We are saying out of 100 because we have two decimal places. If it was like 0 0.3, it wouldn't be 3 out of 100. Here it would be different. It would be 3 out of 10. We shall say out of 1, then we say how many decimal places are here. It is only 1. So we could change this to be 3 out of 10. Okay. What does it mean? The number of decimal places determines the number of zeros you are to add on 1. Another example, if I have 0 0.346, this will give us, we shall come with this number as 3, 4, 6, divided by 1. 
After dividing by one, I'll come and consider the decimal places. How many do we have? From here, we shall count one, two, three. So if there are three, it means I have to put here three zeros. Okay. Let's get, uh, come back to our number. So we have changed this, or we have expressed this decimal into a fraction. After expressing this into a decimal fraction, let's look at the question. What does it want us to do? They want us to express the decimal fractions into percentages. So if we're expressing a decimal into a percentage, after changing our decimal into a fraction, we are going to multiply by the original percentage. And we always say original percentage is ever a hundred percent. So I shall say 38 out of 100 times the original percentage, which is 100 percent. Times 100 percent. By doing so, by, uh, by doing so, we are changing everything to percentage. That's what we are doing. Multiplying, you are changing to percentage. So let's look at this. After that, for you to make sure that your work looks neat, just copy this work, the, uh, this step, the way it is. Don't divide from here. Copy the way it is. Then from there, we divide from the next step. I'll copy it. I'll say 38 out of 100. Okay? Times 100%. There is no any difference between the first step here and the second step. Even if I also introduce, I say 100 over 1, there is no any difference. Okay? Because if you get 100 divided by one person, still you will maintain your percentage as 100. So from there, after doing so, I may also not put out of 1. I can also leave the percentage as it is. Then I say this 0, We'll go with this zero. Okay? Then we come to the second zero. When we check up here, we have here zero. We have here zero. We shall cross them out. Okay? As you cross a zero this side, you cross this side also. As you cross this side, you cross this side also. Right? But you don't just cancel out zeros. You may have a number like 3, 0, 4, out of 10. When you have a number like this one, you are not allowed to cancel these zeros. You are not allowed. But if you have a number like 3, 0, 4, 0, out of 10, you can cancel this zero with the last zero. But you don't cancel the zero which is existing in the middle of the number. Okay? So let's proceed with what we are having here. When we come here, we have now 38 times 1%. 38 times 1%. Times 1%. Times 1%. Times 1 Divide by what is here. What are we remaining with? We are remaining with 1 out of 1. This gives us... 38 times 1, it will give us 38 percent out of 1, which will give us, so we shall come here and say 0 0.38 is equivalent to 38 percent. Okay? That is the way we are supposed to work out this number. Meanwhile, let me take you through the same number using the different method. Okay. So that is, let's call this our method one. We come to method two. Method two, we shall say method two when we come to method two, we shall look at the number. First of all, the number said change 0 0.38 into a percentage. 
So I want us to look at these numbers here and we look at the decimal points that we are having or decimal numbers that we are having here. I will come by so, we shall say here, 0 0.38 as our decimal. We want to see how can we convert this into a percentage in the second method. Uh, any number, any decimal number, multiplied by 10, its decimal point moves backwards one step. Okay? So, when we come to this, this is what I'm trying to mean. When I have 0 0.3 8 times 10, it will give us this, when you multiply by this 10, this 10 will shift this decimal point from here up to here. But when you are dividing uh, this, uh, if you are dividing, it shifts from here, bringing it in front. When you are multiplying, it brings it backwards. So we shall multiply by then. After multiplying by 10, you realize that this will give us 3 point. Eight. Okay? 3.8. Then we come here. We say 3, 3.8 times 10. Times 10. It will give us 3.8. What does it mean? This 10 has shifted this decimal point up to here. So we shall come up with 38, okay? Now, let's look at this. We say normal percentage is ever 100%. That is normal percentage. Now, if normal percentage is 100%, let me look, let's look at this. How many, when you get 10 times 10, you'll come out with 100, which is the same as having 10 times 10. Sorry, 10 times 10. It will give us... 100. Now, this is the same as saying three, at 0 0.38 times 100. It will give a meaning that we are getting just 0 0.38 0 0.38 times 100 percent. Times 100 percent. It will give us these zeros here will shift this decimal point just like the way we have been shifting them up here. Then it will give us 38%. That's the second method. In simple terms, what am I meaning? On the second method, just get your number, just as it is, okay? Multiply it by 100 percent because you are changing a decimal to percentage and after doing this just know 38 0 0.38 times 100 percent here this is zero we will shift this decimal point here this is zero will shift this decimal point here so it will come up with we shall come up with the 38 percent it is what we've done here okay by multiplying all this, I was just bringing you to the idea how we can come out with this. But it is just multiplying direct with the, the percentage. Then we shall come to this direct. Let's look at example two. That has been our first example. Example two. Our example two says change zero point three eight six two percentages to percentage. So let's look at example two. When you look at example two and you compare with example one, 
I've just brought in also 3.8 just to develop on the first example I've just given you previously. So when you look at this, here we have three digits, okay? We have three digits. I'm going to use the first example to work out the number. And remember earlier on, I said, the num this number here, when you are changing it into a fraction, or you are changing it into a proper fraction, what we do is, we need to consider the number of decimal places, okay? Now, when you look at this number of hours, you realize that we have 0 0.386, which is having how many decimal places? We have to come and count the decimal places that we are having at the moment. We have one, two, three. So I'll come and get the whole of my number, which will be three, eight, six. Divide by one. After dividing by one, I'll come and consider the number of decimal places that we are having. How many are they? This is one, two, three. So I'll come and add here three zeros. I haven't yet changed anything to percentages. I've just changed a decimal into a fraction such that we can easily multiply by 100 if we are changing to percentages for easy working. This will give us three, eight, six out of 1,000. I'm saying out of 1,000 because here we have three uh, digits after the decimal point. Here in example one, we had 100 because we had two digits after the decimal point. Meaning that if this was five digits, we would now also have five zeros here. But we have three digits, that's why we're having also three zeros. So, we have finished to change that. Let's now change it into a percentage. Changing into the percentage, we shall just multiply by 100%. We are now changing into percentage. Multiply by 100%. So, multiplying by 100%, simply we are changing from decimals to percentage, okay? We cannot just cancel from here. It is allowed to cancel from here, fine, but how will your work appear? It will look dirty. Copy this step the way it is here. Three, eight, six out of 1,000 times 100. Why are we multiplying by 100? Because we are changing to percentage, okay? We are changing to percentage, and we say normal percentage is 100. So from there, I'll say, I've just copied this step the way it is. I've just transferred here. Purpose is to divide from a different step, not here. From there, I'll come and say this zero will, be, will cancel out with this zero. This zero will cancel out with this zero. What are we remaining with? We are remaining with the 10. And this side, zeros are over. So, we have to bring in our idea of saying, once you are multiplying a number like 5 out of 10, we just cancel zero, then we bring a decimal point. Okay? So, we have a full stop here, whereby this zero is going to be cancelled and shifts this decimal point here. Okay? So, finally, we shall have 3, 8.6, times 1% out of 1. Where is 1 coming from? 1, here when we cancel out, we have remained with 1, which is this very one. Here we have 1, which is this very one. This percentage sign is coming from here. So finally, we shall have 38.6%. So I'll come and say, there are 4, 0 0.386 is equivalent to 38.6%. That is the last step on the second example. Let's use the second method and we see if we shall really come up with the same answer. 
Second method, I would say, second method, I would say, what is my, uh, my decimal? My decimal is 0 0.3. Eight, six. That is my decimal number. Then what am I after? I'm after changing this decimal number to percentage. And earlier on in the first second step, I said we are going to get the decimal number times the original percentage, which is 100%. And when you're multiplying, every zero here shifts a decimal point. So we shall come and say, 38 6 0 0.386 times 100%. Why are we multiplying by 100%? Because we are converting to percentages, from decimals to percentages. But when we are changing decimals to percentages, what happens? We multiply by normal percentage, which is 100%. But when we are changing percentage to decimals, what happens? We divide by 100%. Don't confuse the two. So this time around, since we are taking to percentages, we are multiplying by 100%. So by doing so, when we looked at the first, uh, in the first example, the second step we said, we shall cancel this zero, and it brings this decimal point here. When we cancel the second zero, it will also bring this decimal point here. Okay? So finally, we shall have this. We have 0 0.38.6 times 1%. Okay? Let's look at this. When, I, when somebody says 0, 1, another person says 1, another person says 0, 0, 0, 1. What is the difference? The difference is, no, there is nothing like a difference, actually. The only difference, somebody is just reading 0, 0, 0. It's like saying nothing, 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 1. So, writing 0, 38 is, is, is better you say, this is 38. Because 0 means nothing. So, it is 38.6%. This is, this makes the end of our second example. It makes the end of our second example. Let me take you to the third example. Then after there, I'll refer you where you'll find the activity of this lesson. And that is to say, check the website of Wisdom Center, check YouTube, check on BTN, you'll find everything that is required. Meanwhile, as we are switching to example three, as we are switching to example three, we are so grateful to our parents who really support us in all different ways. We recognize your efforts and whatever you do, we really appreciate. So example three says, example three says, change, change three point one two percentage 3.12 percentage so when let's look at this also shortly we are converting this into percentage how are we going to convert this we are just going to follow the same steps that we have been using we shall first of all identify our decimal numbers as 3.1, then we change it into a fraction, which will give us 31 out of 10. What are we dealing with? We are changing everything to percentage. We are changing everything to 
percentage. So if we are changing everything to percentage, what is going to happen? Earlier on, as we were doing there, we said when you are changing to percentage, we have to multiply. We have to multiply by 100%. So want to see, if you get 3.1 to be expressed as a percentage, what will you come out with? We shall say 33, I mean 31, out of 10 times 100 percentage. I've just scoped what is up to be divided from the next step. But there is nothing big that we have changed from this question here. So when I check out this number here, I have one zero. And this side, we have two zeros. We say a denominator and a numerator, they can't divide, OK? So we shall get this zero. It will cross out with this zero. So what are we remaining with? We are remaining with 3, 1 times 10 percent. So what will this give us? We shall end up by getting 310 percent. Why are we getting 310 percent? Somebody would say, a percentage is supposed to stop at 10, I mean at 100. No, check out this. Why are we getting 310%? Because of a whole number, okay? Because of a whole number. One whole number gives us 100%. But now here we have three whole numbers. That's why you find out that we have 310%, okay? This one here, it is the one which is giving us 10. But this whole number, this three whole number, is the one which is giving us this 300. So you have to watch on that. Let's look at another last example. Let's look at the last example here. The last example, as we are looking at the last example, as we are looking at the last example, which is example four, as we are looking at example four, I take this initiative to really recognize BTN staff for what they have done for us as candidates and other learners. Number four, it says, express, express 0 0.9 to as a percentage, as a percentage. So I want us to look at the last example. How do we change 0 0.92 as a percentage? That will be our last example on this lesson as we switch on next day for the next program. I mean it tomorrow. So let's say look at this. Uh, 0 0.92, we don't read it as 0 0.92, that is wrong. We read it as 0 0.92, or we also read it as 92 hundredths. 92 hundredths. That's how we read it. Though some people end up by saying 0 0.92, that is very wrong. I don't emphasize on that. Always say 0 0.92 or Nine, uh, 92 hundredths. So let's first change this decimal into a fraction, whereby we shall have 92 out of 1. After putting that one, let's come here. We want to count the decimal places that our decimal number is having. How many are they? From here up to here, this is one decimal place. This is the second. So they are two decimal, num uh, decimal places. So if they are two, it means we shall say out of 100. Okay? 
So if it is out of 100, where are we going? We are going to percentage. So it means we are changing everything to percentage. Meaning that we shall come here and we say times 100 percent. Times 100 percent. We are multiplying by 100 percent because we are changing to percentage. From there, if you want your work to look organized, don't divide everything from here. Don't divide everything from here. Copy that step the way it is. Copy your step the way it is. Like I've done. I've not changed anything. When you look at this, it's the same step that I've extracted here. So after reaching here, we want to divide such that we can get the normal percentage of this decimal number. Okay? So I'll say this zero will cancel out to this zero. Right? This zero will also cancel out to this zero. After canceling them out, what are we remaining with? We shall come and say on this side we are remaining with 92 times what is here? One. We are remaining with 1%. Divide by, we are remaining with 1%, not 10, please. We are remaining with 1% out of 1, which is here. So this will finally give us 92. 92 times 1%, it will give us 92% out of 1. Then I'll come here on my last step and I say, therefore, 0 0.92 is equivalent to 92%. Then my lesson ends here. As I encourage all the parents to emphasize, to help the teachers, to help everyone, to help the children that they can meet their future, through education, most of those who are at school, please, I encourage everyone to advise the child. Parents, sacrifice your airtime, buy data, allow kids access this work for their own benefit, please, until normal lessons will kick off. Meanwhile, let's be observing the government directives in this dangerous season of coronavirus. As we say, stay at home, please observe what the government sent to us. Their directives, it will only help us to save our own life, not their own life. Security begins by ourselves, and that makes the end of my lesson. As we wait for another lesson tomorrow, please keep following. We love you. Thank you.